Ben Horner from Norwich Boxing here with Craig Poxton. Uh, back training, how are you feeling? I feel good mate, yeah. Uh, getting back down to my weight, fitness is coming on. Uh, I feel good, glad to be back in gym properly. Obviously you've been out with a hand injury, can you give us a bit more of a background on what happened and the recovery process? Well, <clears throat> last time we spoke I just, just sort of had the operation done. Um, that took some getting used to. Obviously when you come back into gym you just want to train and go flat out, but I have to do a few days of punching, a few days off and focus on other things, but it's all just seeing how it feels each session. Obviously now you're sort of stepping the training up. Does the hand still feel good? Yeah, yeah, it's de definitely on the mend. It feels good. I'm letting it go a little bit more. I think it's just a matter of getting confidence that it's healed, if you know what I mean. I think that'll come as I'm fighting. Um, last time out, you fought George Jupp. Uh, he's now going on to fight Mitchell Smith. Depending on how that fight goes, would you be up for fighting the winner? Well, you've got to be in here. What's the point if not? I think George Jupp, I've never said nothing bad against him. I believe I won the fight, but fair play to him, it's not his fault. Um, I think he gets beat against Mitchell Smith. I think Mitchell Smith beats him. Um, and I think that <clears throat> Mitchell Smith's a good kid. Uh, I've seen a few things on Twitter and Facebook that I'm not one to slate nobody off. I think, that, I think they're both good fighters, but I think Mitchell Smith wins it. Um, obviously, a stable mate of yours, Liam Walsh, um, well, training partner if, if you like. Yeah. He's um, fighting WBO world title eliminator. Yeah. Um, so the British and Commonwealth titles could become available. Uh, is that something that you'd, you'd aim for? Oh, definitely. Um, listen, you can't play at boxing. It's a lifestyle. It's not. It, people say oh, it's a sport, but it's not. It's, you've got to dedicate your life to it and if you're not going to aim for them sort of heights then there's no point doing it just to tread water definitely the, any British fighter the British title is is what you aim for as a stepping well not a stepping stone but the first major, major title yeah definitely. Um, on the same bill you've got Andy Lee Billy Joe Saunders first time two travellers have fought for the world title what way do you see the fight going that's a hard fight um, we are just discussing it in the change room a minute ago, I think. Billy Joe Saunders is very, very good, very classy, amateur. Um, not sure he hits as hard as Andy Lee, um, but I think he might be a little bit too cute of a boxer. Uh, when Billy Joe Saunders turned pro, everybody expected great things of him, so he sort of beat people that he's expected to beat, whereas Andy Lee He's beat people he's not been expected to beat, especially when he won the title. So, um, and, and he's training with Adam Booth, who's a class trainer, so be a good fight. But are we, are we going to get a name, winner, or...? Billy Joe Saunders. Billy Joe. Point. Um, but going back to yourself, September's coming round quickly now. Um, what can people expect to see from you on Friday night at the halls? Well, I'm <laughs> boxing. Now, um, I'm just looking forward to being back in the gym, uh, back in the ring, sorry, I've, I've been working hard in the gym, different, working on different things, um, a little bit of counter punching maybe, relaxing more in the ring and enjoying myself. Uh, I train very hard and the fighting is what I enjoy, so... Um, where can people sort of pick tickets up or...? Well, there's tickets available from both Ultimate Boxing Gyms, both in Lowestoft and uh, Beckles, as well as me. I'll deliver them to whoever wants them, so... Well, best of luck for the night, and uh, I'm sure I'll see you there. Thanks a lot.